Shorty sure rather lay by the poolside than stay by a fool side. Been sleeping on yourself too long. Time to flip the pillow over to the cool side. Don't need the tea, baby. I got the juice. All right, man. So Gilly the Kid has finally addressed the comments that WAC 100 made about him and Wallow, basically saying that he extorts them or squeezes them because they know they have to come to L.A. So anytime he picks up the phone and calls them, they pretty much have to do what he says. And when WAC 100 said this, he also included Nori from Drink Champs and Adam 22 from the No Jumper podcast. So first, I'm going to play what WAC 100 said so you guys have context. And then we're going to come back into what Gilly said. Check out this clip. Gilly and Wallow and fucking the nigga Tree Champs, I squeeze them niggas when I want to. Because they know they got to come out here. You know what I'm saying? Right. But them niggas ain't all that's right there. That's whatever the fuck we need to do. Nigga, we already got our shit right. That's all we need. That's it. Them niggas is 150% white. What we doing, that's it. All right, man. So there it is. So over the weekend, the BT Awards happened. And obviously, everybody was in L.A. from the entertainment industry and the music industry. And Nori was there. Nori was there, and he took a picture with Blueface and WAC 100. And in the comments of that picture, Gilly got in the comments and said this. I hope you ain't getting squeezed with a bunch of laughing faces. And he said, I'm joking, brother. So obviously, man, Gilly is from the streets. All these guys are from the streets. And being from the streets, anytime somebody is saying, I squeeze them when I want to, Everybody know what the implications of that is. Everybody know what that means. There's no other way to say it. There's no there's no alternative facts that you could say. Well, maybe he meant this. It only can mean one thing. And these guys being from the street and Gilly being a guy that typically stands on his morals and stands on, you know, his principles. I'm sure he didn't feel a good way about WAC 100 saying that, you know, and even this joke was kind of passive aggressive, in my opinion. So get in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next topic. Come out.